Welcome back to Anderson Acres. We're inside again today because we are hanging out with Capricorn. He's kind of fun. He gets the bedroom today. It's his turn. So that means Gemini is on the other side of the door right now making noise. Yes, I do have to keep them separate. They are my breeding pair, which means neither one is fixed. So if I let them get together, I'll have babies in 31 days. Don't want that. So they take turns being loose in different parts of the house. He's hanging out. I get to make my bed when Capricorn is loose because he is a much better behaved bunny than his bun wife, Gemini. Yes, you're a good bunny. You're a good boy. Anyway, we're here hanging out with Capricorn because I wanted to talk about building your own rabbit housing. All right, I just want to do a few minutes and I'll show you a picture of a rabbit house we built because sometimes you just don't want to buy one or you can't. If you're only getting a single rabbit or even a pair, buying hutches or a cage or X pens or whatnot will probably save you time and it won't cost all that much. But if you're looking for something larger, you might want to consider making something yourself. Not everyone can do it. Not everyone has the skill. Not everyone has the time. Not everyone has the inclination. Sometimes you just don't want to. And that's fine too. But if you can, you'll actually save money, especially if you have a larger group of uh, rabbits to house. And especially if you buy your materials in bulk. So if you have the skills or you're willing to learn the skills, building your own hutches might be the most efficient. Building your own housing also allows you to get exactly what you want. This is especially helpful if you have a specific space you want your hutch or your cage or your whatever your environment is for your rabbit. You, if you have a specific space you want to fit, building it yourself means you can actually take advantage of every single inch. Where are you going, Capricorn? Don't jump down there because guess what? Those are wires down there. Yeah, let's be a good bunny and not jump down there because then I have to chase you. That's the one spot you're not allowed in the whole house. Can't jump down there because there's wires. Yeah, that's the one spot you're not allowed. You can go anywhere. <laughs> anyway, so building your own housing allows you to customize it to your space. If you have a 29 inch space but can't find a 29 inch hutch, you can build it yourself. Ooh, so pretty, pretty. Look at him go. So you can build a, a hutch yourself because you can make it fit exactly where you want it to fit. You can take a measure, if you can use a measuring tape, a saw, a drill, you're good. You can do it. There are plans available online. So if you take your time, you make your plan, it'll work out better than you think. You can look up many different plans online, check out what other people have done. It's actually easier than you think. If you can use your drill and a staple gun, you're probably fine. And if you have a small saw, they're not complicated to build, and they can actually be a lot of fun. I'm going to put the picture of the one we built up again, because we were actually really proud of it. We don't use it anymore because we switched to dog kennels, which I really do recommend if you're outside. But if you'd rather have a hutch, the hutch we built really worked to keep them warm and keep them off the ground when they wanted to be off the ground. Don't eat a hole in my blanket, man. Don't eat a hole in my blanket. You're a bad bunny. Don't go that way. So you might eventually get good enough at building hutches and maybe even cages that you can consider selling them. I actually do. I occasionally get this itch to build a little rabbit hutch, but I don't really need any more rabbit hutches because I have kennels and I have indoor bunnies. I just don't need any more hutches. So I often will build something and then I sell it because it's fun. You'd be surprised how many people are looking for someone to build a custom cage in. If you're really good at building custom cages eventually, you might be able to make a little bit of money. It can be a lot of fun, and it can be well worth the effort. Yes, those are my incubators on either side. People keep commenting, are those incubators? Yes, they are. I will talk about hatching chickens at a different time. I'm not talking about that right now because it's December. Anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to talk a little bit about building your own cages. I don't want to be too long today because I actually have a lot to do. Tomorrow I'd like to talk about the wire you might use when it comes to building your own hutches and cages, but that's for tomorrow, not for today. For right now, we are going to say goodbye because he's going to jump off this bed on the other side, and I know he is because he's a bad bunny. So hopefully we will see you tomorrow, and I'm going to work getting this rabbit under control. Don't eat the remotes!